Well, here we are going to get the sap down to Sherrill Farm. That's what I'm using uh, to haul my sap in. Got a new hauling tractor and a, a military trailer. Works real well. Now, in the back of the trailer, I'll show you here, I got uh, a pump and a tank and a bunch of hoses there. Uh, works real well. Uh, here's what sap I collected overnight. Wasn't too bad. Like a little over a 125 gallon or so. I've got uh, several trees down here tapped. I've got uh, probably about a hundred down here. Pretty good, pretty good bunch of trees. Uh, it normally does pretty well. Today the temperature's got up real warm. Up in the high 60s, so sap's probably slowed down considerably today. But, uh, we'll see here what uh, what we got. Let's see what what it's doing coming out of the out of the hose here. Slow. Oops. If I can hold this hose steady. Ain't doing too bad. Look down in there. It's pretty clear. So let me uh, get the pump set up. what I do here to pump it out. When the pump is primed, it don't take but a minute to start sucking all this out. We got a hose going over here. Got me an outfit, a piece of PVC pipe sticks down in the tank. Just up to the bottom. See on that tank, it don't take just a few, very few minutes to suck her down. I can probably suck out that there by another two, maybe three minutes. Pushed off the well. Got it going over here in this tank. Expecting a storm in the late night, early morning. Cold front moving in. We'll be down the 20s. Well, here I am, Dad. One of the other farms, and I've got two barrels here. They're about half full each. So that'd be a 50 gallon or so. Got about 75 trees tapped here. Got two lines going up through here. We got a lot of slack in there all of a sudden. That'll look good. Yeah, a little better. All that slack out going up. Up through there, and then another line 
going up through these woods. Down in under a pretty good holler. It's, the ground's awful rotten today. Been, been froze for about a week. We've had some rain. And so I'm in under a pretty good holler. Some more of my beehives up there by that old house. Well, let me get pumping. It'll take probably about five minutes to, to drain these two tanks. Well, here we are. Here we are at the the last uh, bit of woods I've got tapped. And as you can see on this barrel here, we've got uh, well, it's almost full. Let's see what's doing there. Got about. 75 trees out here tapped. Oh. Goes on for pretty good ways up in the, in the woods there. down to the barrel. Really need a bigger. Well, if I about to put me another barrel on here. Overnight, that'll just about fill up. In fact, the other night it overflowed, so I should get me a bigger one. And go ahead and pump this out. You can see, it don't take long to pump it. A whole lot easier. Well, I guess I better go shut my pump off. About dry. All right, back at the sugar shack. Gonna pump this sap out. All I have to do is uh, reverse my hoses on my pump. Got the with quick disconnects. Took it off my, my pipe that I used to suck out of the tanks. And then uh, I just run it over here. And I got me a port mounted on the front of my building. I don't have to go around my building. It gets some muddy around here. It's, it's hard, to, hard to deal with. I got a line running all the way back here to the back. Going to 500 gallon milk tank. And better put my pipe down in there. Then I got a sump pump in there, uh, pumping up to another tank I got up in the loft that I gravity feed out of into my, my cooker. This works pretty well. Uh, it won't take just a very few minutes to pump out the, the sap and on since I ain't got much help most of the time it works real good for me. So let me get this thing fired up and get it transferred and get cooking. Third bowl for the season. Going pretty good. It's got some color to it. Still pretty light. Trailer full of wood scraps. Burn hot. Pretty quiet tonight. The fuse pad for bias, not many. Crank 
trying to preheat the fat before it comes in. We got a filter and a day tank up on top of 70 feet. Comes down to about 50 feet of copper line. Comes down. I think you can see it's some steam, but it's great. I'm warming it up too much, just not the chill off of it. Boil off about 50 gallon an hour. Float valve. Bottling it kind of low tech with a coffee pot, but it works real well. We've got a stainless steel tub up there with the filters. I have to dump the syrup over in there and run it to about five filters. And it runs down into the coffee pot and you heat it back up to 190 and then bottle it. Bottles. Yep, I'm dead more woods. 